Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about grip. A good grip does several things for us. Grip helps us mitigate recoil. The second thing that our grip does for us is grip enables us, assists us in developing a proper index. Index, simply put, is the ability to look at a point on a target and then to bring the gun in line with our eyes so the sights are aligned and aimed at exactly what we're looking at. The third thing that grip does for us, your grip also mitigates imperfections and flaws in your trigger press. So how do we build a proper grip? First off, we have to think of a few things. The bore, the line of the barrel, this is where the force is coming back when the weapon fires. Your grip is like a lever. The further down I am on the grip, the more effect that recoil is going to have on my hands. So I want my hands as high up on the pistol as possible. I want to be as close as I can be to the line of bore, both with my shooting hand and with my support hand. Principle number two for your grip is surface area. All other things being equal, the more surface area in contact with the gun from your hands, the better off you are. Because that's friction, that surface area friction on the gun, keeping it under control. So, so far we have leverage, we have friction, how much is in contact with the gun, right? And then our last principle is going to be tension, and that one's more complex. If I grip as hard as I can, if I grip as hard as I can with my shooting hand, then my trigger finger tends to get dumb. I'll get trigger freeze, I'll mash on the trigger, it won't be fluid, I won't be able to shoot as fast as possible. That's one negative from gripping too hard with this hand. The other negative is if I get too much tension in my shooting hand, what happens then is as I pull the trigger, I'm tensing with all of these fingers and I'm inducing movement in the gun. So with the firing hand, what I want to do is I want to grip as hard as I can without inducing either one of those problems. And that's something you have to experiment with for yourself. You have to go to the range and experiment with this in live fire and see how it needs to feel for you to get the correct effect. Or if you're getting shots low left, especially your second shot, then that is an indication you need to back off the tension on this hand or increase the tension on this hand or both. Support hand. So support hand tension. In this hand, needs to literally grip as hard as you can without shaking. If you look at my fingers, my fingertips, they'll actually turn white when I grab the gun. Now here's the thing about tension though. Tension needs to be localized. You have to isolate that grip tension to the grip itself. So I'm gripping really strong, but my arms are staying more relaxed then the recoil can be absorbed in the arms themselves. So we have leverage, we have friction, we have tension. Those are the principles of the good grip. You have to put live rounds onto a target and play around with your grip. See how it affects it. One of the drills that I personally think is one of the best tests for your grip is the classic bill drill. So the classic bill drill is seven yards, all A zone hits from the holster, two seconds or better. If you can do that, you have a good grip. So I went and I shot some bill drills today. Let's check out the video of me shooting the bill drill. We'll do it full speed, we'll do it in slow motion, and you can see what I'm talking about about the grip. 